before reading the everlasting gospel of the three angels' messages. The gospel recorded in this chapter is the everlasting gospel that encompasses the gospel of the entire Bible, and it is the heaven-sent final message to prepare us for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Even though part two may not be as easy to read as the contents of part one, please pay close attention to the message with deep interest, and you will be able to understand the essential truths for our salvation. The theme of greatest importance is the third angel's message, embracing the messages of the first and second angels. All should understand the truths contained in these messages and demonstrate them in daily life, for this is essential to salvation. Evangelism 196 The contents of this book are designed to help those who like to study the Bible in depth, especially for those interested in studying the present truth found in the three angels' messages, Revelation 14 verses 6 to 12, for the last days. In order to cover the wide range of the contents centering around the three angels' messages, I have omitted most of the historical events and interpretation, although important and valid. By keeping righteousness by faith as the core message, this part is designed to directly help individuals to have a personal experience of faith in preparation for the second coming of Jesus. Please note that this entire book is used as the textbook for the Three Angels Medical Missions Seminar, and it is supplementary to the explanation of the seminar lectures. This message was to bring more prominently before the world the uplifted Savior, the sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. It presented justification through faith in the surety. It invited the people to receive the righteousness of Christ, which is made manifest in obedience to all the commandments of God. Many had lost sight of Jesus. They needed to have their eyes directed to his divine person, his merits, and his changeless love for the human family. All power is given into his hands, that he may dispense rich gifts unto men, imparting the priceless gift of his own righteousness to the helpless human agent. This is the message that God commanded to be given to the world. It is the third angel's message, which is to be proclaimed with a loud voice and attended with the outpouring of his spirit in a large measure. Evangelism 190-191 